Through this movie, explore the advantages of importing modal data from a finite element model into MSIM. Start by including and defining a finite element component in your MSIM sketch area. As a first example, we'll be studying two beam structures put into vibration by different methods. We will be using modal shapes to track the system's behavior at the different eigenfrequencies. As illustrated below, the modal shapes will show the displacements of the highlighted nodes along the specified axis for both beams. If we examine the modal shapes of both elements, we find that for the frequency in question, only one of the two structures is vibrating. Here again, the element connected to the sine wave generator is the only one oscillating. Looking at the remaining frequencies, it is clear that these are specific to the beam connected to the hydraulic jack. This test has allowed us to determine that a physical structure's dynamic behavior changes depending on the actuators it's coupled to. In order to get a visual idea of the modal shapes and higher order natural frequencies, we import the same model but with a bigger number of displacement nodes. The source of vibrations is, as before, a sine wave with a frequency varying between 0 and 300 Hz over 10 seconds. Once we launch the animation, we can view the modal shapes as frequency increases. This gives us a good idea of which frequencies we should not expose our structure to, as it's easy to see that the oscillations are of much higher amplitude at the eigenfrequencies. In fact, it's possible to gain precise information concerning these high amplitude vibrations with the help of traditional plots. Here, we've plotted the displacement of one of the nodes as well as the frequency of the sine wave over time. We also have available the eigenvalues and eigenfrequencies of the system. It is immediately clear that the frequencies where high displacements occur correspond to the natural frequencies of the beam. To provide another example of use of the finite element import utility, we are analyzing a plate fixed around its edges. Using the same variable frequency signal as previously, we can obtain the natural modes of the plate extracted from the finite element analysis software. As before, we can import the same structure with more nodes to observe the high order modes. In the animation, each sub-element is associated to a node's displacement. All the sub-elements form the complete plate. This allows us to witness the structure's oscillations across the defined range of frequencies. To sum up, Finite Element Import allows you to take into account a physical body's modal data and examine the influence of coupling phenomena on these characteristics.